going to take a look at uh, GCO A4. And uh, this particular one, let me read you the objective, says, develop the definitions of rotation, reflection, translation in terms of angles, circles, perpendicular lines, parallel lines, line segments, etc. At the heart of this objective is the definitions of these isometric transformations. Now, let me just speak to something. In the past, you and I used to spend a lot of time on deductive reasoning and all of the rules and the properties of equality and detachment and syllogism and things to describe a kind of a foundation before we get to proof. Here is the new foundation. You're going to establish these definitions and the properties that occur when you transform using uh, a translation or a rotation. And those will be the things that students will use clearly to describe what they know and how they know it's happening. So the essence here is about defining these motions in terms of angles and distance, in terms of orientation, in terms of all of those kinds of properties, parallelism, things like that. Describe, uh, we want students to be able to recognize what it is, that this is a rotation of 180 degrees about the point O or whatever. So this is notation. Uh, properties of the uh, isometric transformations. What happens when we translate? Oh, there's parallel lines that are formed. Why is that? And all those types of things. And then finally, orientation of a shape. I'll talk to you about that in a second. What's the big idea? This is the big idea. The website says that the transformations are the spine of the core. And it's true. From head to, to uh, lower back, everything in between is controlled by that spine, controlled by those transformations, essential stuff. What are the connections? Connecting back, of course, to trans the basic transformations that students should know, connecting forward to congruence eventually. Traps and pitfalls. Um, the big one here, I guess, is... I, I would say go, going too fast, slow down, let it soak in. This is essential stuff. But the big thing probably, or one of the big things, is orientation. Uh, in the English language, we call this portrait orientation and landscape orientation. And we say that they're different. In geometry, we wouldn't say that those are oriented differently. Um, so let's show you what we mean by orientation. If I took the triangle ABC and I rotated it and I got a new triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, you can see the rotation that's taken place there. They have the same orientation even though one is upright and one is sideways. Why are they orientated the same? Notice the points ABC clockwise, A prime, B prime, C prime clockwise. So what is an orientation change? Well, it looks like this. When we reflect this to the other side, we would get something like this. <clears throat> and notice something that's happened here. Here, ABC, clockwise, is its naming convention. Here, A prime, C prime, B prime. Notice a reverse. What has happened is we took uh, the back of my hand and we reflected it and we're looking at the palm of my hand. Those orientations are different. The reflection is the only one that takes only transformation that leaves the plane to perform its task. Be careful of that. 